What's going on everybody, it's your favorite killer on the Ronald Kildren here, and we are back to the Lee video. And in today's video, we're doing Guild War. So, uh, yeah, uh, as of the making of this video, today is the day when, um, ML Sermia, I was about to say Celine, no, ML Sermia and the new, uh, Para, Pura units released, and, uh, yeah, it's looking, uh, it's looking pretty interesting. Also, this Guild Wars against, uh, Scarlet R. <clears throat> um Yeah. Um the, these in, these units coming up are pretty interesting. Uh I mean it's kind of it's kind of shitty though just because it, it really does feel like they're uh, just power creeping the game like a stupid amount. But at the end of the day it's like <laughs> You said they could take the game wherever they want, right? But I'm not happy about it, and I know a lot of other people aren't happy about it. So I feel like we're gonna have another uh, a rise type update at this rate with all of the uh, all of the power keeping that's going on. And I think they're gonna eventually have to nerf something, <laughs> nerf some units. I don't want DPS I want to bring. I have options. I kind of want to bring AD Meru. And then I'll just eat the stun. Enough. It's time to behave. Nice resist. Do you hear me? Can you not? Resist the seal. Let's try this again. I desire your flesh. There you go. What? Okay. Dude. This thing is not on Infinity Basket. Why is it getting every stun? Now, who's it? Please, prop? Should kill. No, no, it didn't. I overestimated the amount of fixed damage. Right? I'm pretty sure she'll just kill. But... Seems like I'm gonna lose AO well here. But... Let's get that fun though. So yeah, uh... Going over units, I guess. Just like off the top of my head, uh... Almost Sermia is, um... She counters my playstyle a lot, actually. Like, and it's not even because uh, I, I like super hard crutch ML Lilius or anything. Which I mean, I do draft her, right? Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend like I'm higher than the meta. But as somebody who, um, hmm. I feel like I can just kill this. It's on Bastion. But, um... Just because she procs her S2 on counter attacks, dual attacks, extra attacks, as somebody who plays Banshee, no, every, practically every unit I bring is gonna proc her. Which is gonna suck a whole lot. So that make, it makes it kind of shitty to uh, to fight against her, right? So I'm going to really try and pull her just so that I don't have to fight her. But there is like no guarantee that that's going to go my way. It's like I'll, I'll pull for her and I'll prep for her, but I don't know if I'm going to get her. 
I don't think he procs the burn if I kill him, but... It didn't kill- Ooh. Sad. I wanted to keep Rimuru. Should I fight like lots? Statistically. Well, am I gonna lose my A lots too? <laughs> mm, he's okay. I mean, that was closer than I would have liked. I'm also gonna have to bring a different unit in that slot because there was another defense with that exact same team. Uh, so yeah. Uh, her being a defense scaling bruiser is kind of interesting though. Uh, her being a uh, MLS Armia just because the defense scaling bruisers in the game are kind of bad right now. Like, the only other DPS that scales off defense is Dilibet. And we all know how that's going for her right now. So. Uh, other people with defense scaling is Rose and Falcon or Clary, but their role isn't really to be defense scaling bruisers. So it's kind of whatever. Ooh. That kind of blows. Okay, it gives me a chance to try this out. This secret tech, if you will. I can kill Rem and his AoE. A heartbeat? I mean, say I could, but I just bring Arby because I'm lazy. And then top team. That Landy is dead. Let's just let's just be real here, right? So. Do you think I can bring Luna in, actually? No, 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 no. Actually, do you know what I should do? She actually is a Caesarea team. Pretty good Caesarea team. With my super scuffed gear. My super scuffed cleave gear. Yeah, let's do it. So, uh, defense scaling bruiser. She gives herself increased defense buff, which is usually good, because that's one of the big issues with a lot of the uh, defense scaling bruisers, is that they are the thing that they use to get their attack buff, or like their equivalent of an attack buff, is very hard to get, but thankfully they, they kind of thought ahead and they, they gave her a way to give herself increased defense. Also gives herself increased, um, what's its face? Increased effect resistance, which actually is pretty good considering she also has good uh, effect resistance built in. I think she has like base 30, which is like pretty good. Uh, I kind of wish that I could see what her stats would look like, but she is the only, yeah, she is the only, um, What's its face? Only Pisces warrior in the game. So that kind of blows. It didn't kill. This is it. You know, the hope was is that she was gonna go into RB, but of course she didn't do that. Turn? 
Bigger again. Bro, my... <laughs> my secret art sword storm is just not proccing, like, at all. It's actually kind of ridiculous. It procced, what, three times? They didn't give me an attack buff once. This is it. <laughs> Can't counter, but force to miss. Counter? Nice. Please? Kiss my I'm really not a fan of having to tread the line of RNG like this. I will step on you. Yep, that's why. This game's so bad. If only <sighs> this game's so bad. I mean, I did bring a pretty bad team, but still. I will protect my people. It can't be helped. Um, throw me as three death pen. I mean, it was a meme uh, from Mango Seven. Now it's in the game. Uh, I kind of want to stun the. Actually, no. I hit this again. Thanks. Yep. No, why are you going after Milum? I will not just stand by and watch. This way. Let's say stun, please. All right. Bomb. All right, so he's done. Like he's just not taking a turn. Because of the stun into a bomb. Uh. And Ceramia's S1, because like this battle is pretty much done. Ceramia's S1, speed buff, which is good. Uh, because she has a speed buff, I'm thinking of building her own counter. So, I mean, I don't think it's going to be too much value. I feel like speed buff is still going to be, or speed says still probably going to be the better option. But I'm definitely going to be going for it just to have fun. I will protect my people. Sorry. And then, so yeah, overall thoughts on Ceramia, really good unit, power creep again, because it's a counter to uh, ML Lilius that, I mean, people asked for, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna act like no one asked for it, because I was about to say it, but uh, it's definitely a, it's definitely a questionable one, considering the, the trend that E7 is going, where it's like, busted unit, then counter to the busted unit that's also busted so they're going to introduce a new unit that's busted and then provide a counter literally a couple of weeks or months later i mean it's it's pretty shitty to be honest and like what's even worse is that we're finally i feel like hitting a point where we can kind of chill out with all of these units but uh apparently not Apparently the game wants to double down and do stuff like this, which I mean, it, it really does suck though, just because especially as like even the whales, right? They, they're they really not a fan of having to burn a shit ton of money to have every unit in the game because they have to. Like it's one thing if they choose to do it, but because they have to, I think that makes it a whole lot worse. Obviously I'm not a whale, so I can't speak for them, but just just from uh, what I from what I hear. It's just not fun for anybody. Uh, low spenders are suffering just because they can't keep up with all the new units. The whales are not happy because they have to pull every unit. It's just like a lose-lose situation almost. I want an unbuffable unit. Actually, let's go Selene. Selene here just got to get in Charlotte. Uh, Pierre was a little bit better. I mean, another stupid high-speed base unit with, like, a super loaded kit, but... At least it's not... I just got resisted. And none of my violins procced. Huh. Well, that's cool. Apologize is a max violin and it just didn't trip anything. 
I saw it got resisted on the RB, but that's about it. So this is kind of the last fight, so it's like, who cares, but... Um, I think I want to hit this. That way I can sweep toys. I will destroy everything. Slowly. So yeah, uh... Pierre has a good counter to, um... What's-its-face to AOL. Uh, people are saying that, uh... She kind of nerfs Cerise in a way because they have the same roles. I personally disagree. Uh, although, although Pyrrha provides unbuffable instead of speed down, because she provides unbuffable, you need your team to follow up and be faster. Which I feel like can be a big problem. If this misses, I hate my life, but... So yeah, I feel like Cerise is going to have a use, especially into, um, I feel like Caesarea Cleave. She, I think Cerise is only better just because of the, the offensive support she'll provide in the following turns. Because, uh, Pierre provides a lot of, uh, utility defensively, right, with her escort buff, providing the Aureus and, um... And whatnot, but I feel like we're gonna run into an issue where one, if it gets stripped from the video, it looks like that the escort buff gets stripped first, which causes a lot of issues for her for the simple reason of she can't keep the buff, especially if you're taking her into AOL, right? You literally have to kill the AOL that turn or silence her. And you can't stun her. AOL, I mean, because like you can't you can't stun the uh, the AOL with uh, Piera. I don't know how to pronounce her name, so I'm just gonna keep saying it differently the whole time. If that annoys you, I'm sorry, but um, so yeah, because you can't stun AOL with Piera, so that means her strip into stun doesn't work. And even if you do that, then you're giving up escort buff. And all of her survivability, so you're just- you're literally committing to her dying that turn, most likely. And... If you don't have units that can follow up and kill the AOL, then it's not gonna matter that you made them unbuffable and restricted, because then she'll just take turn two, like in the- in the time rotation, and then kill your- or debuff your team anyways, which I mean was a whole issue with AOL. Like sure the buff, like sure the uh, the skill null is problematic, but it definitely was not the main issue with the unit. It was the debuffs on a short cooldown. At least I feel. But I don't know. Uh, I could be very wrong, right? These are all just like initial impressions. Who knows? Maybe when the units come out, uh, Sarmia has absolutely horrible scaling and does no damage, so she shouldn't be useless almost. And then I don't know. Should Pierre gets a dev buff or that? I, I I have no idea, right? Um, just overall, I, I feel like they were gonna be. Uh, the the trend that E7 is going down definitely is not a healthy one with the uh, the power creep going up, with everything. Just uh, I understand that they want to introduce new units and they want to introduce units that are like, oh yeah, I want to pull for them because they're good, right? But uh, the the way they're going is definitely not the way to do it. Um, and yeah, just because we'll get to a point where every unit's a must pull, and it's just not going to be healthy for anyone in the game, because the only people who are going to be left are the people who are able to afford pulling every unit, which is the whales, and that's uh, that's not a good place for a gacha to be. I feel pushing out all of the uh, the low spenders, the free to plays, the, like, even the casuals don't want to get into it just because they know they won't have the units to compete because they literally need every unit, which they can't get. So yeah, uh, Caesarea, no, um, uh, I mean, I can show you some of the gear I have if I end up do, if I do end up pulling, uh, Sermia, because, uh, I like her kit, to be honest, I, I think it's, like, super cool, I 
personally like defense scaling bruise just because it's something that kind of doesn't get a uh, doesn't get explored too much. But I mean, at the same time, it does kind of suck because a lot of units provide death break in the meta. Think of like Rimuru and Ran. So uh, if you bring if you bring Sermia into those units, they could just like absolutely like they neuter her for the wrong reasons. Like it's not just because they have attack down, it's because they have defense break. And when you think about it like that, it does kind of suck. Which I mean, that does, but at the same time, that does uh, also make sure, uh, it's also okay just because her passive gives her an effect resistance buff, and plus she has built in effect resistance, meaning that she can actually resist the death break. So I mean, I, I really don't know where they are hoping to take this unit. I mean, I feel like right now it's just strictly a counter to uh, like Belly and Lilius and units like that, but uh, I feel like it's going to have a trickle down effect. But I mean, there's also like a bunch of uh, counters that people are just aren't really thinking about right now. An example is Death Break. As you can Death Break the Ceremonia, she's going to be super easy to kill and she's going to do no damage. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, Celine, she procced it three times and she didn't get the attack buff once. That was fun. Um, Celine, I brought for the last fight. Uh, she needs improved gear. Uh, Shadow Knight Pilots. I was trying that, that tech, but uh, it definitely did not work. Uh, probably because my team was just bad, but I also did get pretty unlucky not proccing the attack buff once. So if I proc the attack buff, then I would have had time to... Um, I, would have, I wouldn't have had to invest so much into the rem, because she would have just died. So I mean that kind of sucked, but also her stats are kind of bad right now. Like she's got a bunch of non 90 and stuff. So maybe with a better pilot that could work, but bad RNG, bad RNG it happens. You know, RB let me down, like always. Our team and Shadow. Um. Oh yeah, then there's series. And then yeah, it's gonna be the end of the video. Uh, if you want to see more my content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm definitely curious on what other people think about uh, Piera and uh, Mosarmia. Uh, I just like talking about that stuff. Like, even, like, although people uh, are just gonna be like, "Oh, no, she busted," but like, I, I like genuinely like having conversations about uh, or other cases or like other places where you think she'll actually be good. I always find that stuff kind of interesting. So, uh, yeah, have a good day and night, wherever y'all are, and as always, peace out. Oh, yeah, by the way, contact me in the description as well. Uh, yeah, see ya.